We started the Food for Kids program over 10 years ago. Um, you know, we've been in hunger relief for over 30 years in our state, and we thought we were the smartest people on the planet when it came to feeding hungry people. And, but one of the things that we didn't think about was what do these kids who go to public school do over the weekend when school breakfast and lunch is not available to them? You know, there are thousands of kids who go to these schools that go home on the weekend and they have nothing or very little to eat. When I started 10 years ago, uh, the Food for Kids program was already a part of our school. We are an, about a 90% free or reduced lunch school, and we have about a population of about 580 some students. And the need here is very high for the extra help on the weekends with food. It is so necessary. There are so many children who come to school without breakfast, no money for lunch, so the free lunch program helps tremendously. But what are they doing over the weekend? If you think about it as an adult would think, you know, Friday rolls around, we're all ready for the weekend, we're glad we don't have to go to the office or go to our jobs, uh, you know, on Saturday and Sunday. But that's scary to these kids, right? Because these kids may not have food at home over the weekend, and so we're able to fill that gap. You know, they don't have to share the food. If they have a sibling at home, we'll provide a backpack of food for them. You know, they're just able to take this food home, know it's for them, and be able to put something in their belly um, over the weekend. I wasn't 100% sure what Larry was talking about, so he brought the backpacks, the food out, and kind of showed me how it is non-perishable, how um, it doesn't need to be refrigerated, how it's easy for the kids to get into and out of. Um, they don't need an adult assistance with it. Um, he showed me how the milk was doesn't need to be refrigerated and the juice doesn't need to be refrigerated and so he showed me how in this little bag they're able to slip it right into their backpacks carry it home it's lightweight it's the perfect size and shape and how that could benefit our kids on the weekends with the extra food that they may need to get through the weekend our site coordinators identify these kids you know they talk to them about their food needs um, you know to see what they're having at home but sometimes it may be another kid that says hey you know we've heard We've heard stories that, hey, I was over at Johnny's house over the weekend and he doesn't have any food and now I understand why he gets one of those backpacks. Benefits outside that we're noticing with the help from the extra food on weekends is the kids are more focused in school on Monday um, or, or even throughout the week. They have a little extra that helps them get through. Um, so they're more focused, they pay more attention, they're not um, getting in trouble because they're distracted by maybe a hungry stomach. Our goal is just to make sure we fill that gap, that we, we hit those kids that need this weekend food. And we couldn't do it without all the support. We have great volunteers. We have great financial donors to this program. It's a cost-effective program. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a few dollars a weekend to put something in these kids' bellies. And it just goes a long way just to making their life better. I get a kick out of reading some of the reports that come back where the teachers comment on that the kids really enjoy, uh, look forward to receiving the Food for Kids pack for the weekend and they count on it. People should get involved with the Food for Kids program because it really is a small way to make a big impact, especially here at the school. It's a small way to donate in the community that you're able to affect um, many kids, not even just here in Wichita, but in the, in the surrounding communities. Um, you, the little donation goes a very long way. I was working here in Wichita at a special school. I was going through the hallway and I saw a little kid in the kitchen. He was stuffing his pockets. And I said, you go on now because you're going to miss your bus. It is very important for me to donate to Food for Kids because I saw it. I saw the need. It broke my heart because that little boy was not being vicious or naughty. He was being practical. You know, it does kind of take a community ride for this program. We have thousands and thousands of volunteers. We have thousands and thousands of supporters financially this program. And, you know, and if folks feel called to volunteer, you know, we love it because we hook them, right? They come in, they start making these backpacks, um, and they want to come back, and they want to come back, and they want to come back because they know they're, you know, they know they're helping children that, that cannot help themselves. And, and for the folks that want to donate monetarily, you know, the food bank has a great reputation. Most of the dollars we use, 97% go to program expenses, and, and it's a great way just to help kids. Um, if you want to support the Food for Kids program, you know you're putting food in a kid's belly, you know you're making their life better, and it's just the right thing to do. 
thank you for your financial support to the Kansas Food Bank and especially for Food for Kids.